Judge. As you said, they have gone mad. He has withstood all kinds of torture, only to assert his own beliefs. Do you not think it's possible that he's being subjected to the wrath of the gods? It is possible. I have a suggestion. Is it not best we wait several days? Yeah. Perhaps the wrath of the gods will subside yes. and their lunacy will come to an end. You do not know these people. They will never abandon their faith. Every day they are growing in numbers and infecting people everywhere. Especially this one who must be destroyed. What's his name again? Adonia. You, Adonia, will soon be thrown on the crucifix and left to die. And your body will remain there as a lesson to others. Write out this sentence. Yes, sir. Take them away. Are you pleased to hear your death sentence? I know your gods, but, but, do you know mine? No, I do not know your god. But, if you did know him, you would understand why I am so anxious to meet him. the missionary. Phidias. Yes, sir. Why do you appear so confused? I am confused by them. It is very difficult to understand. Go. I can stand this no longer. How long must we go on pretending that we are idol worshippers? For how long? For how long are we supposed to sit and watch Christians being fed to lions and wild animals and to watch the gladiators rip each other apart to entertain others? How long can we tolerate this situation? Calm down, Martinus. Calm down. We chose this path together, have you forgotten? No, I haven't forgotten. But I don't know the reason behind this secrecy either. No one understands what we're saying. Neither the idol worshippers nor the Christians. 
but at least Christians worship God. Are we supposed to sit back forever and watch how ruthlessly their blood is shed? So what are these swords rusting in their sheaths for? He who draws his sword too soon only injures himself. Imagine the three of us killing 30 of them. What will change? Isn't it true that all of these crimes are committed by Diocletian and that we are often alone with him? Why not rid our fellow believers of him? What's the use of that? If it's not Diocletian, it will be someone else. By doing this, we are only risking our lives and the lives of others. As long as the Emperor exists, so will the likes of Diocletian, Martinus. The Emperor is arriving tomorrow, and we can easily get close to him. What do you have to say to this? Dearest Martinus, huh? do you think Rome will have any difficulty replacing the Emperor? What are you saying? Does this mean we must leave the criminals of the world to their own devices? Because whatever we do, there will always be another offender to take the place of whoever is punished? We must live up to our responsibilities. Martinus is right. The time is right. To be honest, my patience is wearing thin too. I'm not afraid of death, and in a way, I look forward to it. But I fear that the people will be massacred in retaliation for the Emperor's death. On the other hand, even now people are being murdered left and right. So the verdict is that the leading figure behind all these crimes must not go unpunished. Solidinus, we are awaiting your order with our swords drawn. Guard your witness to the fact that whatever action I take is for your satisfaction, not my own. Please accept this from us and grant us the power to fight for your sake. Christ hasn't descended from heaven to earth? No, no, no. No, Christ lived on earth. He was a man like you and I, but an outstanding man. That is just a Greek myth that the god Attis came to earth, was murdered and resurrected three days later, and then ascended to the heavens. So you are trying to say that these beliefs... Yes, I'm trying to tell you that Christ did not teach these beliefs. You mean that Christ did not die for our sins? You mean he was not a redeemer? No, he was not a redeemer, but a guide. Not a god, but a human being. Not a creator, but a creation. Dear God, so when will these people be enlightened? <laughs> Listen, brother, for I do not have much more time. I want to speak my last words. Oh, no! I wish... I wish I had never met you! I don't know if it is better to confront the truth or to remain in my ignorance. Get up. Uh. 
Stand still. You, Fabius, for the crime of converting to the false religion of Jesus of Nazareth and denouncing the gods of Rome, have been sentenced to death. Fabius, you will be crucified. Take him. Move! Move forward! Adnan! Move! For the crime of converting to Christianity, you will be executed. Take Come it. on, move forward! Uh, move! Move! Salamis! For the crimes of theft and rebellion, you will be crucified. Take him! Come on! Have move. mercy! Have Get mercy! Move. No, I didn't do it! Adonia, for They're propagating lying. the Christian faith, you will be crucified. Take him. Go.
shelter. Oh God, praise be to you. I praise you with the modesty that befits my humble status and with the fervor that befits your grandeur. O oh God, accept the little this your humble servant can offer. for a long time for this meeting. Grant us the worthiness to recognize the presence of the praised one and bless Mount Paran with his arrival. Your Highness. Huh? Your Highness, I am Antonius. Thing. I know I am an unwanted guest. I just wanted to see you before leaving. Please, forgive me. Shepherds have nothing to offer but milk. Take it. Please, take it. It's fresh. Your acceptance of this humble Thank gift you. gives me great pride. Oh, by the way, I heard your prayers. You must be a saint. <laughs> am I right? No. Yes. Yes, you are. Well, think as you please. You prayed so purely. Oh, by the way, Your Highness, I heard you referring in your prayers to the praised one. You said you were wishing to see him. Who is the praised one? Have you read the Holy Bible? No. I do not even know how to read. Listen while I recite passages from the Holy Bible for you. According to the holy duality, this is the blessing given by Moses to the Israelites before his death. He said, Jehovah came from Mount Sinai, rose up from Seir, and shone forth from Mount Paran. The light that shines from Mount Paran is that very Messiah that our Lord Christ told us about. He is called the Praised One. Where is Paran? Paran is that oasis where Abraham's wife, Hajar, and his son, Ishmael, lived and Ahmad, the praised one who is among the descendants of Ishmael, will appear there. You mean it is possible that God will bless us with his appearance? Of course. One day he will appear without a doubt. But when? Only God knows. Only God. You mean the praised one will destroy the idols like his, his forefather, Abraham? Without doubt. Destroying the idols will bring us such pleasure. <laughs> yes, yes, that is the case. But destroyed idols are sometimes capable of being restored. idols that can never be repaired must be destroyed.
Look at that. Stop! 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 Who are they? I do not know. He looks familiar. Wait, wait! <laughs> Who are these people? Adonia the missionary and several other Christians. Oh, I see. Which of them is Adonia? That one there. Him. That one? <laughs> Come here, I found a good target. Come here. Come throw stones. Throw stones, enemy of God. Ha! Take that! <laughs> Don't throw stones. I said stop that at once. What good does pelting him do? That's what I'm saying. Since he is already dying, what difference do a few extra stones make? He has led many of our fellow believers astray. I can see that Moses' teachings have had no influence upon you. Uh? They shall not be enemy to anything but their own material desires. They shall not condemn anything but their own inner desires. They shall fearfully stand in prayer as if no they right were facing resurrection. Here, take this. Only one coin. Stand over there and pretend we're not here. Yes. And this one yes, is for following Jesus hey, of about, Nazareth. This one, believe this. Oh, oh, you dead this for you. <laughs> so you misled people, did you? Ah. Oh, oh, you poor God souls. Him. Believe that. Yeah. He gave me one yeah, coin. To get even one coin from them is better than nothing. Ha! Take that. Bruh. Pick up stones. Bruh. Take it. <laughs> right on the knee. Pick up bigger stones. Take that. Yes, here's Hit one it. for you. Ha! Enemy Have it. of God. There. Ha! Take that. Ha. That's for you. Got him. Give that right on the head. Great throw. Why isn't he saving you now? Huh? Here you are, dog. You filthy dog. How dare you? Here's one. How dare you? Oh, got it. Oh, oh missed. Oh, this way's a lot. Oh, that was good. Oh, you hypocrites. Here you are, you dog. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. Yes. Here's one for hypocrites. you. Hypocrites. Do not hesitate. Ah, you hypocrites. Take that, you dare. Here's one for ones. you, God. Ha! Ah, here's one for you. Hypocrites. Really. You hypocrites. Yeah. Why? You hypocrites. Ah. Believers. You hypocrites. Yeah. Ah. Oh, you ah. hypocrites. Ah. Oh, Christ, son of man. No, we oh, we hypocrites. You hypocrites! What's that? How you What's dare that? to curse everyone! That is Adonia. Abandoned God's most important commandments, which are mercy. Oh God, what am I to do? Faith, I pity you. I pity you who look like well-kept graves from the outside, but are filled on, with filth and the bones one? of the dead. I pity you who cultivate the graves of your prophets and adorn the mausoleums of the truthful. But you neither follow the prophets nor are you truthful. I pity you. I pity you. I set him free. Set him free. Get on! Free him! Let's get out of here! Run! Get on! Get on! He's gone crazy! Who is Come this? Come on! Come on! Come on! No. Run! Free him!
Sonia. Your Highness Maximilian, why have you put yourself in danger? I have reached the end of my road. Your efforts will be wasted. I will save you. I just have to find something to do it with. Don't worry about me. The hour of my union is near. I have reached the end before you. Leave here. The guards will be back shortly. Get out of here, your highness. Go, you must leave. How can I leave you here alone? He who is with his creator is never alone. I beg you to go. Go. <laughs> Hardly any time left before the arrival of the Emperor. Your Highness, last night Adonia, the missionary, was crucified. Very good. Good work, Julius. Is the city prepared for the welcoming ceremonies? Yes, it is prepared for the arrival of the Emperor. Good. Very good. Today, the city of Philadelphia is prepared for the arrival of the Emperor. And you will all be rewarded generously. Even those who have done nothing and spent the past few days relaxing outside of town? You are not referring to Maximilian, uh, Julius? Uh, yes, uh, Your Highness, that is right. First, let me take care of this man. I like his swordsmanship. He strikes unexpectedly. And I'm going to kill you! Your Highness, the guards at the city's gate say Maximilian fled the city four days ago and has not yet returned. Don't worry. I have already received information regarding that rumor from Tamika. Ah, get up. Oh, finally, Maximilian has decided to show up. Oh, Julius wants to know where you were, what you were doing. 
It is best if you first explain it to him. Julius is always worried about me. But I have come here to report news. I have received news that the Christians are becoming increasingly active in the villages situated along the Emperor's route here. And I didn't think the route was safe for the Emperor. So, immediate action needed to be taken. I felt it was necessary to visit the area and assess the situation myself. Fortunately, it wasn't as bad as it was reported to be. There is no need for any concern. That is good. It seems Julius's concerns have also been addressed. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> go faster, go faster. Make sure he doesn't fall. I'm being careful. <laughs> Be careful. Oh. Hello, Your Highness. Your father has returned. Oh, hello, Father. <laughs> hello, my darling boy. Father, I missed you very much. Oh, and I you. <laughs> His Highness must have had such a good time that he didn't want to return. Yes, thank God. I enjoyed my retreat. But Your Highness... It was not right for you to leave the city at such a time. You can be sure that spies have reported your absence. My dear Galus, do you think one should be afraid of anyone but God? Huh? No. What news is there? Has anything happened while I was away? I know about Adonia. So you know? Yes. I was by his side in his final hour. On the crucifix. We cannot be sure that we will not face the same fate. The fate that God deems fit for us will certainly be favored for us too. If we are summoned by God before the right time comes, that will be a cause for sorrow. Your Highness, to tell you the truth, it is not only Lady Helen who is afraid. I am also worried about what will happen. With your permission. The arrival and departure of the Emperor will not be without difficulties. Do not worry at all. The end is near. With God's help, I have made some decisions. His Highness has finally returned after four days. I know. Oh, how he longed for his return. Their Highnesses, Yuvanas and Talmika. Let's go, Akhmed. Greetings, Your Highness Maximilian. Greetings to my good friends. What a surprise. Your Highness finally showed some concern for your own city. I have told you before. I went to pray for an answer to the problems that we are facing. It seems as if you have reached a solution. Hmm. If God helps us, then yes, I have. Has His Highness heard the news? Adonia. Yes, he knows. What can we do to save him? 
There is nothing more we can do for Adonia. We must go after the main perpetrator of these crimes. What you are saying is interesting. But you were opposed to killing Emperor Hadrian. We will kill the Emperor. But not the kind of death you're thinking of. We are here to listen to your decision. Do not rush. You will know when the time is right. visit the prison. We may be able to do something to help Adonia. I have no hope. God. Greetings to you, your highnesses. Why are you torturing these people? To get confessions. They are Christian. Their sentence is a sound lashing. That's enough. Let them go. But we have not finished, your highness. Did you not hear? He said that's enough. Enough! Enough! Unchain them and take them to the prison. Marcellus? Yes, Your Highness. Where is Adonia? They crucified him in the middle of the night. Why in the middle of the night? To prevent a possible uproar among his fellow believers. Go. Yes, sir. Be quiet. Be quiet. Come on. Get up. Get up. Be quiet. Get up. Come on, move. Hey, you. I can still hear his words from that day. Do we not need to know whether or not these gods are capable of doing things? Do we not need to know why this sculpture has not defended itself and is now broken? No. These sculptures are not gods. Tonight, the gods shall avenge Adonia's blood. It is so 
cute. Look at him. Make sure he doesn't bite your hand. Isn't he wonderful? Careful. Look at little hands. Look at him. He's a nice Oh, aren't you a sweet Oh, oh, look out. Look out. Oh, watch out. Don't let him touch. Don't let him touch you. Oh, oh, watch out. I'm sorry that I could not do anything to save him. <laughs> Father. His offense was severe. Setting him free was impossible. From the moment they captured him, I lost all hope. The Romans have no mercy for no one. <laughs> Curse the Romans. I curse the gods who do nothing but take away our loved ones. I curse Emperor Hadrian. I curse you. I curse you. I curse you. say that his body is to remain upon the crucifix as a lesson to others. I wish they would give his body to us. <laughs> that is not possible. But I promise to avenge his death. I curse you. I promise you that. Take good care of her. <laughs> Try to comfort her. You may not see me again after today. May God always watch over you. <laughs> Your Highness. Last night, someone tried to steal Adonia's body, but he was confronted by our guards and was unsuccessful. What? Our city is that insecure? Then what are you doing? Go. Go prepare the evidence against Maximilian, Matthias. We need the evidence against Maximilian. I must expose him in the presence of the Emperor. Go, Matthias, go!